Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved Rise of the Robots campaign where we're only allowed to use Sparks and psionically active characters such as the Templar or the Psyops. I got a big fat uh, hacking the de device workstation sort of mission for you in Eastern Europe where we are fighting against only 11 enemies. So that in itself is also already suspect because we have a difficult mission and that means it's pretty likely that we're also going to see the um, either the warlock or and i hope that's going to happen the snake king so both of them would not be uh, would not be visible here shall i say i'm not sure normally if um, if you are infiltrating and um, a black site facility or or another factory there would be an unknown entity and that indicates that there is an alien ruler um, the chosen definitely are invisible but either way i'm not sure on normal missions if you would see unknown enemy be it as it may uh, the difficulty and the number of enemies doesn't match up so you can already uh, perceive that something is just not right which will mean we gotta bring our A game in order to make that happen. So, let's remove everyone. We got our three sparks. We got Remnant, just for good measure. Roby is still tired, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, Storm is not here. Magister is not here. Hawkbite is not here. Fantastic. Just what we needed. We got Quick Feet. So, at least a tiny bit of uh, psionic energy. So, we got two psyops and we got place or room for one rookie. I would say XQS6 is the right man for the job. Shall we give uh, this handsome uh, man a real weapon? Yes, we shall. Also, I think we got ourselves a blast launcher, which is 7 to 10 as opposed to 4 to 7. There we go, blast launcher, fantastic investment. Very good. We're hoping for another blast launcher, by the way. And Shredstorm Cannon, another one would be fine as well. Plasma Blaster is good. I think the Shredder gun is equally good. So currently 6 to 9 and that's 7 to 10. Alright, I might be wrong. Plasma Blast that is. And that looks like a pretty solid team. We got two Mimic Beacons, we got two times uh, our blue screen rounds. And with the exception of having one rookie, it's a pretty solid team. So let's head into the mission and chew gum and kick some ass. Let's see what I can do. And we are landing as usual. We're landing in the middle of the street. But we got a nice little concealment going and our three mechs are ready to rumble. So what we got to do is we got to just download uh, the system data. We already know that there are a couple of mechanical units uh, here. And unfortunately, we also know that the system data is pretty, pretty far away. That is an awful lot of distance that we need to cover. Try to go for high ground here. Is there any other high ground yeah, over here? But we cannot really position ourselves there. Okay. Roger that. Let's move up. Haven't seen anyone. Double move with quick feet. So I am going to very, very aggressively move in. Nothing. And if this here doesn't trigger anything or at least show anything, triggering triggering would probably not happen, but it could have exposed them. Yeah, with 11 enemies in such a huge, huge map, 
it is pretty likely that we're not going to immediately run into a pack just the chances are relatively low which means we can aggressively double move got our high ground already over here we can see the screen bumps which tells us a sector pot is sort of near got ourselves a potential hack just always double check what you could get out of it in this case it's only intel yeah and we don't want to have reinforcements keep in mind also our gremlins are not really that upgraded yet plus yeah sparks can theoretically hack but they are not excelling at it interesting this here looks like a harbor uh, sort of uh, thing yeah it's a typical crane and all of this down here is uh, gonna be the harbor so we're taking the high ground just want to make sure that we have everything under control max r moving up like i mentioned we're trying our dearest oh, yeah. to double uh, to double move just to <coughs> sorry keep the speed seven rounds is not a lot move, move, move. There are hostile units moving nearby. good for the first time we know that hostile units are coming from the harbor side Wow, such a gigantic map for an objective where you really need to travel pretty far. Believe it or not, we, we can't even just wait. We gotta continue to move. Using the high ground as good as we can. Double time. Everybody tries to stay on the high ground and have a couple of advantageous positions up here. Let's do this. That's just for kind of reference. This is the third round where we double moved, haven't spotted a single enemy. And that's the very, very, very first time that we even have a potential target. Moving to position. All right. Let's take a good look. Okay, so that would definitely work. I am also wondering in terms of domination. 65% uh, is great, but not good enough. Moving. Moving a bit closer and I'm wondering like this here, the shred gun, probably do a decent job in getting all three of them. Might as well use that in order to start the encounter, why not? And Hunter immediately triggers, fantastic. Good, so how about... Yeah, it seems like we could hit both of these guys. Yeah, 
and that is again some pretty decent chances let's use overdrive we're not we don't need to use too many cooldowns for now one of our kill sparks a dagger in this case can start cleaning all right fair enough let's continue We're continuing to shred, and that is exactly what we wanted to do. Let's try to hit both of these guys. Yep. No armor will shield you. There we go. By the way, his cover was essentially not helping him at all. We did have the superior stock over here, so that's a 100% kill. There we go. Wonderful. Let's move up to be efficient with our remaining uh, units. And... Wow, that frame rate drop it does indicate that something is um, wrong. Something is being calculated in the background. It's normally not happening. So, this here should finish him. Very nice. And I'm eagerly waiting to see whom we're going to run into. Only got three more rounds. You can already see that there is a pack of two mechs and two advents just waiting for us. Moving on target. Wow, that is intense. We only got three more turns. Good, Vector, we move him over here. That might give us a decent position next turn. Movement request confirmed. Good, we're double moving. Will do. Mainly because we're running very much out of time. Yeah, we essentially need to engage them next turn and then the turn afterwards we need to hack. The timer in this mission uh, seems off very much so. I mean, we double move every single time and the only time that we did not double move we engaged and killed a pack. So, quite literally, there wasn't that much more speed that we could have taken. Hmm, how do we want to deal with these guys? I would say a well-placed blaster bomb. here could be the solution all right this here should not trigger the overwatch okay perfect I suppose that's the best we can do for now. Might as well also do that to just get a better line of sight. Trying to remove the wall here. Oh, 
Okay, removal of the wall, hashtag successful. These guys were hit, but not triggered. Interesting. Careful advance. Advent forces sighted. I was hoping we could just bombard them. Never mind. Already killed one. Perfect. Overdriving. Gotta use all of the cooldowns now, guys, because elsewise the mission would be over. Good. So that's going to kill another one. Thanks for undying loyalty. It's such a great ability. Good job. Okay, we can kill either of these guys. Moving. Moving up into a cover position where we can at least hit some of these guys. Do we have a stock? Advanced stock. Okay, we can deal two points of damage, so that's an auto kill. Of course, if we hit it is even more than an auto kill. I'm trusting you here. Renman moves up. It's dead. It has to be dead. Renman makes short uh, work out of uh, of this guy. Got another overdrive over here. Hmm, how about... could be faceless over here I'm not sure they are typically not de deployed the, the dark event isn't going on yet good we're going to overwatch and overwatch and overwatch so we're definitely going to kill both of them go one down and thanks to undying loyalty we got to deal with a zombie okay so that was two packs in one turn the advent network terminal is shutting down this is your last chance to secure the data moving moving up we want to secure the data and good news is we did exactly that we went right into the middle of all of them i got a hack so that's non-optional look at that enemy protocol yes please come on Ah, the permanent hacking stat increase of 20 would have been fantastic. It's the only way for a mech to really increase its hack stat because you can't take them on covert ops missions. Just imagine how great that would have been. Using our last bit of overdrive to chew through the sector pod. That's going to be fun. One. And two. 
3 shredding is just fantastic. It's not as good as a sniper to kind of completely chew through it, but mind you, they don't have blue screen rounds and it's a standard ability uh, to to simply um, to simply use overdrive. So what we got? Uh, two moderately dangerous enemies. Good, let's move up over here. And over... We have blue screen runs. Yes, we do. Heading to that location. Perfect. Well, that's the kind of damage I'd like to see. Wonderful. Good, so we're going for full cover. And this is potentially a kill. Uh, not really. Not good. Seven to ten. And we're looking at two four. Uh, for I think we're better off taking a shot at it two four six seven so yeah we're probably better taking a shot at it I want to get rid of the sectopod right away the purifier cannot hurt any of our mechs and the shield bearer will use the shielding abilities so I am not scared of either of these guys be our last shot you know what I think I will instead reload because the mech has the hunter trait and she we do have three potential chances that dagger will actually react with a reaction shot and given that the reinforcements are coming in that's a higher chance than a 50-50 into full cover. Targeting sensors locked on advent forces. But of course, if none of them will actually take the shot, then it was a bit pointless. And there we go, everybody has even more hit points than before. Well. Let's start cleaning up this mess, shall we? We shall. Good. First things first, we want high ground and the best potential chance to actually hit the shield bearer. We're going to get exactly that. Purifier, elite trooper, elite purifier. My bad, we're not getting that. The preview was off. That is unfortunate. But the one thing that we can do is... We can use our remaining cooldowns. And this here should. 
Oh, wait a second. Just double checking that none of our friends is actually in line of sight. Good. That's just the terminal and we've already done the hack, so terminal is irrelevant. Fair enough. So let's move on with even more destruction. If we were to position ourselves over here, hmm, that's maybe not the worst idea. Starting to move up to get a better position. There we go. Nice little shredding. Fantastic. Good. We still got plenty of options here. I'm just trying to get everyone in position. Still trying to kill this guy first. Servos engaged. Moving into the loot. Superior Outloader is great. Um, Alarium Core isn't bad either. And hopefully this here will put an end to the shield bearer there we go that's exactly what we were looking for shield removed for everyone can we somehow get into a decent position where we can flank someone it seems like no because everything downstairs here will not allow us to flank so well, it's probably the best shot that we can take I would love to hit the elite Lancer rookies are just not good at, hit at hitting things Good, let's continue cleaning up the rest. The ones that can hurt us are the troopers. Of course, hunting for them primarily. Eh, the domination chance is too low. So we're not going to do that. Instead, this here is having an advanced stock, so that's two points of damage, even though it does not look like like a great shot. This, however, is a 100% shot, and we're now in kill range, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So, reloading, and let's kill this guy. Are you kidding me? Minimum damage, no crit. Okay. Well. We're positioning the Mimic Beacon nicely there. So that all three of them can start dealing with, the, uh, with it. Purifier really doesn't do much for the beacons. couple of shots uh, does not get it down and now the Lancer needs to move in and Lancer's got a lance you know how it is guys
Okay, so let's take a good look. All right, reloading. That's a little AOE damage. Wonderful. We're going to give the kills to our max. Overdriving. Dagger hasn't received enough kills yet, so we can uh, still level that max. One down. And shall we? Just move over here. So that sounds like a fantastic idea. High ground and both of them in range. Starting to deal with the officer. Reload and let's kill the officer. That was unfortunately a little bit fast at clicking. I said let's kill the officer and not the purifier. This is at least two points of damage, if not an entire kill. It is instead an entire kill. We unfortunately lost uh, the chance to uh, give the kills um, to the max, but that's okay. That on the other hand is not okay. I hate undying loyalty. Good. Let's give it some stasis just to annoy it. Mainly because it wasn't 100% sure that we could kill it. Oh, and whilst I was reflecting about what we can do better, I should have probably modified our guns because we now have modular assault rifles and I've completely forgotten to take advantage of it. Good, not an easy mission and there was a lot of time pressure. So if, if there is one takeaway from this mission, then it's probably knowing when to draw the cooldowns and uh, when to engage so that was a prime example if you would have lost more time you would have lost the mission and guess what we are returning uh, rookie doesn't need a promotion and everybody else as always does not get a promotion got a superior outloader that's fantastic a lot of corpses that's uh, not that relevant and lightning reflexes was the dark event which is uh, lightning reflexes for all advents so that would have sucked if we would have uh, had lightning reflexes uh, can put another engineer here for a total power of 70 not too bad we really got a lot of engineers going and I think the one improvement potential that I wanted to do is Superior repeater, auto loader. Long have my kind struggled to fend off the elder's children. Those who have I mean, we could give it a superior uh, scope. Yes. Superior repeater is fine. And then simply give it a superior expanded magazine. And boy, oh boy, that weapon is pristine. I like it. Good weapon. Very good weapon. And. Let's take another weapon. Another advanced uh, magazine scope. Do we have an advanced scope? No. That's fine. Uh, let's take a look at our sparks. Do they also get another weapon upgrade? No, they do not. Ah, too bad. Hmm. 
Yeah, superior stock, superior expanded magazine. They already got a pretty decent uh, weapon modification, so don't really need to change anything there. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar. Project. And we don't We're need Avenger power. Down. We'll need to move fast. Got enough intel. Let's just check the black market. Maybe we can gra uh, grab something real quick. Market is open. Superior expanded magazine is always pretty good. Superior scopes also not too bad. You know what? Let's just do that. Superior scope and superior expanded magazine. I like it. Because I've seen, I mean, it looks maybe like a bit of a uh, wasteful use of resources, but uh, superior stock is okay. Well, you know. Not sure. Um, do we really want to give him the superior stock? Sometimes it worked quite well to have that 100% chance to just deal some damage. So, yeah, I would probably want to keep it. But at the same time, Dagger only had an advanced scope. And like I said, it might look a bit... Um, I probably should have just built a new weapon. Yeah, that's my bad. Anyways, now it doesn't matter. But I could have simply taken a new weapon and used, uh, left the old weapon with the upgrades as a spare one. That way I could have circled through in case I really want um, that extra to hit. But yeah, that's, that's Intel well invested. The superior weapon upgrades are indeed quite good. Can't really create a new resistance um, uh, resistance tower anywhere so what we're going to do is we're going to heal faster as soon as the avatar project finishes we're going to immediately in invade one of uh, the facilities another important step forward in our research I have come to perfect we now got the highest uh, C amplifier modular cannons as well as as nice as it Looks is really nothing that we need at this point. Even as twisted as but I'm just going to use the Inspire data pad, and pretty soon we're going to priority. transition into into an, um, the shadow chamber. We wanted to deal with that. We got three cores. Let's think what we really would need. Experimental powered weapon, great. We can get that. Another like super strong heavy weapon. Most of that stuff here is really irrelevant for us. Do we need another war suit? Arguably no, because we're getting the equipment uh, from the alien rulers, if we get it at some point. But yeah, well, that would probably be a no. So, super heavy weapon it is. Yet again. Our actions have succeeded, and the elders. Well, look at that. We got ourselves a nice little reduction in the avatar progress, and I think we wanted to gain that extra resistance contact, to be honest. Yeah, we're still in the negative trade recovery. Might as well use Storm here. Couple of supplies and we're using Raul. So that'll give us finally the last bit of uh, resistance context that we need. Let's just hope your people can keep up. And then we got the, we captured the entire world. So income will be plentiful. I can think of several ways Advent now causes the bleeding status. That is 
pretty much the opposite of fun. Very much, very much the opposite of fun. And we could use 10 days to recover a Roby's uh, trade. I think we should do that, to be honest. So, why is that, by the way, not continuing? Roby is training sustenance. Wait, wait, wait. All right, so how long does it take him to finish sustenance? Did we... Wait a second, did we just... Oh, wow, well, we, we bugged ourselves. I don't fully remember where that bug was coming from, but I think if, if you injured someone or they were unavailable while still be in training, uh, that can lead to this bug. And that's the whole reason why we're not, why that is still uh, shown as pausing the training. Let's hope that this year is going to unstuck it because he's officially now being drawn into the infirmary. Can't really demolish that. The only thing that we could do is we can demolish the entire building and then rebuild it, which funnily enough, we probably will need to do if that error is not going to go away. So that's why we only have one training chamber. Good. We're resuming training. And at least... At least for Renvin it seems to work. Renvin also developed a negative trait that's fantastic just gorgeous how many negative traits we have we gotta remove uh, that shit in the infirmary first so that's a bit unfortunate we will however have some time with the shadow chamber i'm still trying to get the campaign done but those little bits and pieces start to us uh, to annoy me Good. We're going to go for Soulfire, and then Soulfire will open up Vampirism because uh, the last time that uh, Renman was injured, we couldn't really self heal. And I was somewhat banking on the fact that these guys can self heal, uh, which is not the case. So we got to give them the ability. Nine more days until Roby has his negative traits removed. We completed our research. And there's another 140 intel. Perfect. We're not going for the assassin weapons. Uh, leave anyway. I've started to wonder how the Advent administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat or more of a nuisance? Commander, now that we've built the shadow chamber. We should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of Good, we got our Shadow Chamber projects, which will hopefully keep us busy. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading the resistance is a daunting task. And we're getting scolded again because we apparently are a shitty leader of the resistance. Although we just killed one of the chosens and just did, did an overall pretty pretty intentional job. I would absolutely love the Warlock to uh, to be the next target. So both of these here are not a problem. Recruitment costs increased by 100%. That might be an issue. The additional hidden event might also be an issue. So what else do we want to take? Resistance context, we already got that. Black market is okay. We don't need power. So any form of advent power is freed up. Might as well uh, take stay with me, which 
gives us the flexibility that soldiers will less likely die. And that's pretty much it. Excavation speed doesn't need to be increased anymore. So might as well take increased uh, rewards from scans. Black market costs, uh, that is Intel cost. This here is supplies. Facility construction speed. We can keep that uh, in case we need to rebuild uh, the Psi operative. My followers will Training station. And we got ourselves 500 supplies, which is pretty much good enough to build another radio tower right here. That then gives us the option to contact the last region and would also increase our income quite a bit. So removing the negative trade five more days and then afterwards we're going to see New objective added. Uh, afterwards we're just going to see tabs on all our operations. if our Psy chamber is permanently yours. bugged. It's really an unfortunate bug. I've never had it in any of my live campaigns here. But then again, usually I'm just training these guys for a later mission. I'm not that regularly playing them in interims missions, which means they do not regularly get injured. Operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. Very good. Next storyline mission. Might be able to do that soon-ish. I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. There's our last contact. That is fantastic. And what else do we have? So we want to um, definitely get the Warlock. Another resistance contact, which we don't need. Facility leads, also unnecessary. The reduction is cool, but not needed. Research breakthroughs are twice as likely to occur. It's nice, but that's really for the long run. Another resistance order. Oh, that's incredibly strong. Ooh, that is an incredibly strong order. Uh, whenever um, enemy units uh, are discovered during XCOM's turn, they only get one turn in their, uh, in their next iteration. <sighs> that is fantastic. I don't, and it's only two soldiers. Well, you cannot really say no to that. How am I supposed to resist to such a lovely offer? You know what, we're just going to spend the 25 intel. Normally I wouldn't do it, but I don't want to play through another ambush mission. Uh, so let's just get tactical analysis. That's really a good, uh, good one. One of the strongest resistance orders that you can have. Plasma Blaster. Nice, but not exactly what I was looking for. I was more looking for kind of a blaster cannon. Let's try again. And we are almost done with building the radio relay. There we go. More income. There we go. Let's make contact. And there we go, greater resolve, lightly wounded soldiers can now be sent into combat. Not that it really matters that much, but in some cases it gave a, it would have given us more optionality. Avenger power, we do not need that, don't need to build faster, I really don't need intel. What we can check is if there are additional things that we could get from the black market, elsewise I am almost inclined that we're going for a storyline mission. So, superior speed, that's good. Superior agility isn't bad either. Superior scope is definitely good. So, that's already bought. Can't go wrong with the superior scope. And I don't think that we need either of that. Uh, 
let's take a short look at our capabilities and maybe we're just going to go for the mission quite frankly we do have three sparks that are almost twiddling their thumbs at this point we got a templar we got uh, renvin and quick feed available so what saigon what are you even waiting for i'll be the first to admit i may have underestimated you commander i just wasn't entirely sure what the big deal was but after putting down one of the elders chosen permanently shown that you're in this fight till the end. The Reapers owe you one. Weapon upgrade. Let's double check. This one here has superior scope, superior repeater. Not bad. Not as good as a fully upgraded weapon from, a, uh, from us, though. And... You know, I'm wondering who else has good guns. He certainly does not. I'm just trying to see where our upgrades are. That might be one of the weapons. Superior laser sight. Don't want to de uh, don't want to take him uh, that weapon away. That's already a fully upgraded weapon. That's a good weapon as well. No upgrades, no upgrades. Well, it appears that the next best weapon that we do have is indeed this one here. Good, so we're going to go with the superior scope. And I like the idea of an advanced stock. Why not? Advanced uh, expanded magazine is also fine. The superior auto loader is really not bad, but I think at this point here with um, kind of seven shots, we're okay. They are not shooting that often. So that's a good weapon. The scope was really making a lot of difference. Let's take a short look. Renvin, yeah, it's already above 100 aim. So that's plenty. What we can also take a look at, and I have not, I've not even thought about that. All those people, millions of innocent lives, unknowingly walking right into the... See, that's what path. you get when you're, um, when you're not playing for a while. You get rusty. But their message has always so been what we wanted to do is we maybe wanted to get to another offer. upgrade. And I'm specifically yeah. looking for... Either way, we can't let this go on, no matter what the cost. I'm specifically looking for... Helium Psi amplifications. Two uh, gatekeeper shells. We don't have that, so that's the next thing that we need to get. The supplies are okay. We can relatively easily get that, but we need to kill two gatekeepers, so it's our next big task. And with that, we are coming to the end of uh, this episode. Another pretty long episode, but a lot of uh, things that we needed to do. Very soon, we're going to uh, be done with all of uh, the kind of extra covert ops missions so we will go for the warlock we're now starting to prepare the storyline missions so things are going in the right direction i don't like that the whole psy lab is bugged apparently so that's really really unfortunate and i want to continue um, Ren uh, roby's training so that might extend the whole up and run just a tiny bit but yeah hopefully i can get it resolved anyways guys if you like what you've seen if you like the rise of the robots and just how um, sparks in particular are being played then leave a big fat like and maybe a comment down below and we see each other in the next episode take care and bye bye